News 2 is your local election headquarters. We have team coverage this morning on Senator Tim Scott's run for president. Good Monday morning, everyone. I'm Octavia Mitchell. And I'm Riley Benson, Josh and Megan Heavy covered with weather and traffic together on the twos. Happening today after months of speculation, South Carolina Senator Tim Scott expected to, to announce his bid for president in a room of supporters today. He'll become the second Republican to challenge current President Joe Biden for the White House. Now, hundreds are expected to be here for this event this morning. Doors will open at 9.30. The event starts at 11. Scott's expected to speak about 11.15. Now, the second highest ranking United States Senator John Thune expected to be here as part of this morning's announcement and endorse Scott's bid for president. News 2 will bring you live up-to-date coverage on the event all morning long. Scott is the only black Republican in the U.S. Senate. He'll be the second Republican from South Carolina to challenge incumbent President Joe Biden. Now, Scott comes into this race with likely the most cash on hand out of any GOP challenger to Biden with about $22 million he will carry over from his 2022 Senate bid. Scott will also enter this in his likely last term as a senator. He's announced that he would end after this term. Now, last week, we heard from the U.S. Senator about his decision to run for higher office. Here's a portion of his response. There are a lot of reasons to want to be president, but I will tell you that for me, the mission of restoring hope, creating opportunities, and protecting the America we love motivates me every day. And if it leads me to the position of a higher office to God be the glory. And if it does not lead me to a position of higher office, to God be the glory. And now Lexi Moore is joining me. Lexi, you are kind of following as politicians around our state are reacting to this news mm -hmm. that Scott will indeed run for president. Yeah, Riley, good morning. You know, Senator Tim Scott has definitely made his name known around the Palmetto State from here in South Carolina. But now with this White House bid, he's wanting to make his name known around the country. Now, looking back, Scott won a special election to secure a seat in the Charleston County Council in 1995. And it was not later when his eyes turned on the U.S. House of Representatives. He won a seat there and later former South Carolina. Carolina Governor Nikki Haley appointed Scott for U.S. Senate, where he's been since 2013. And now that his eyes are on the White House this year, Senator Scott made headlines for supporting school choice, which allows parents to choose where their child will go to school outside of their zone public school. U.S. Representative from South Carolina Jim Clyburn spoke to News 2 about Senator Scott joining the race. Here's a part of that conversation. Well, it all depends what you stand for. Look, I grew up in South Carolina, and uh, I've known South Carolina politics all of my life. And I'm not proud of all the politics in South Carolina. There were 95 years between number eight and number nine when it comes to black representation from South Carolina in Congress. What led to that 95-year gap was South Carolina's politics. So what I want to see going forward is politics that make the greatness of this country accessible and affordable for all, not some, all. And if you do not have an agenda uh, designed to do that, I have very little use for you. And former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley also looking for that GOP nomination. She announced her run for president in Charleston earlier this year, Riley. You know, Lexi, Tim Scott, not likely the only Republican candidate jumping in this race this week. We do know and we're expecting that Florida Governor Ron DeSantis will announce his intention to seek the Republican nomination for president. That announcement could come as early as Wednesday. Lexi talked about the senator trying to make his name known around the country. Senator Scott embarked on a Faith in America tour, making stops in early voting states like Iowa, New Hampshire, here in South Carolina, also released a book. Now, let's set the scene for you this morning here at Charleston Southern University. A number of dozens in, of national media, local media are all here as all eyes are on the low country. Some now inside setting up for this event. Again, doors open at 930. It gets underway at 11. We're expecting to hear from the senator at about 1115. Of course, we'll have full coverage here on News 2 throughout the day. We'll send it back to you in the studio, Octavia. Thank you, Riley and next Lexi. Of course, you can count on News 2 to keep you updated on today's event as part of our live team coverage. Just go to our website, countonto.com slash your local election headquarters.